Hello and welcome to Hillbilly DVD Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing Soul Survivors, The Killer Cut, which features more blood, more sex, more terror from the theatrical release. Alright, now, a lot of people are saying, fucking Soul Survivors, I don't even remember this bullshit. Lots of people don't, and that's why I'm reviewing it. Everybody I talk to, hey, remember Soul Survivors? Nobody ever fucking remembers. This thing, what I remember back in the day, around 2000, 2001, whenever it came out, Used to go to the theater, used to see the fucking commercial, the, the trailer, nonstop, nonstop. Then when it came out, shit came out on like 600 screens. This was an uh, old company, Artisan, now become, well, it didn't become Lionsgate, but got bought by Lionsgate. Anyway, back in the day, these motherfuckers want to be little Miramax Jr. fucking with every movie. They fucked with this movie so much, they took it from an R to a PG-13, released it theatrically as a PG-13, made no fucking money. So when it came on DVD, they put it back on an R rating. This movie is so weird, so fuck. You can tell so many motherfuckers had their hands in it, fucking it up, re-editing it, fucking making it make no sense. It stars Casey Affleck, Ben, a uh, Ben Affleck, Casey Affleck, well, Wes Bentley, not Ben Affleck, Wes Bentley, Elijah Dushku. In fact, Elijah Dushku is on the front, like she's the main fucking person, but no, she's not. The main chick is Melissa Sageman. I don't know who she is. But she's the main person, but they're going to try to... That, that's when you know it's a bullshit movie, when they take supporting characters and try to make them a star in it, well, they don't. What's this bullshit about? Anyway, some kids, they want to drink, they want to fuck, whatever. They go to a creepy rave, some rapists are running around grabbing them, grabbing their tits. There's like an androgynous man, woman, he, she, ma'am, sir, running around. I don't know why this movie, even more than horror, really wanted to focus on some weird, bizarre sexual dynamics or whatever. Which is weird because then there's really no real fucking sex scenes in this movie. So they leave this club, they get in a fight, boyfriend, girlfriend, bullshit, whatever. So like the creeps are in a car in front of them that was chasing around the club. Now they're in a car next to them on the highway. They turn around, fucking head on collision, fucking lots of, you know, they don't, they cut away. You don't know who got fucked up, who lived, who died, whatever. And that's what the rest of this movie is about teasing you and fucking. This is just a cock tease of a movie. Who lived? Who died? Who gives a shit is the real question. Fucking, especially if you're gonna come out after Sixth Sense and everybody already knows about little ghost twists and shit. Watching this thing and trying to figure out who's alive and who's really dead, and what's a dream and what's real and what's whatever. Who gives a shit? There's one motherfucker runs around the cheapest Halloween mask you ever seen. Literally got like a paper, <laughs> fucking plastic bullshit, clear with a fucking little plastic string around. He he's the main villain. He runs around. And there's some big buff fucking ugly Danzig looking fucker runs around chasing this girl. And that's all they do. They chase her, chase her, and then right when they're about to catch her, every time she ducks somewhere and then she looks and they're gone. Was it real? Was it a dream? Once again, who gives a fuck? This movie had to be re-edited at least ten times. So confusing. The story wasn't. Oh, and I forgot. Fucking Luke Wilson shows up. Fucking, like, he's in the movie for about five minutes, but not five minutes in a row, like a minute here, a minute there, and you're like, who is this motherfucker? And he disappears and comes back. I'll tell you what, what a fucking mess of a movie. Trying to be a horror movie. What's notable about it, though? Eliza Dushku goes super lesbo in this one. She keeps messing around with the he, she, ma'am, sir, Angela Featherstone, who, if you've seen her in other movies, she's a good looking as a woman, but here she's playing like a man. See, that's how bad this movie was. It, from the time it was trying to be Scream, it was trying to be Sixth Sense, and then they fucking throw in some Boys Don't Cry. Is this a man? Is this a woman that Elijah Dushka was having an affair with? Well, eventually, spoiler, spoiler, the only reason to watch this fucking movie, there's a scene in the library where the girl walks up, Elijah Dushka's making out with this, is it a man, is it a woman? Like, they're just, it's so over the top, they're just tonguing each other, it's like, ha, 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 ha. like, not even kissing, like, ha, ha, thrusting their tongues, they're sucking on each other's tongues, and then she takes the he, she, turns around, rips the shirt off, fucking got breasts, so yeah, it was a woman. Incomprehensive mess of a movie, there's a reason why nobody ever fucking remembers this thing, other than the fact that it had all these hot actors when they're coming off of other bullshit. Elijah Dushku, hot off Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Wes Bentley, hot off American Beauty. Casey Affleck, hot over the what the fuck he was hot off of. It's like somebody was like, I want to make a terrible movie, but I want the hottest young actors that threw them in there and made it terrible. This thing is a mess, but in a weird way, it kind of has to be seen and believed. As a movie, I want to rate this motherfucker 4 out of 10. I want it to be good. I want it to pay off. There's kind of one, two little good scenes, but most part it's just incomprehensible bullshit. Alright, picture and sound. Now this is where it gets surprising. 2001 DVD is going to look like shit, right? No, it doesn't look too fucking bad. The picture was pretty actually crisp and clear. Not a lot of artifacts, nothing. The sound was decent, surround sound, nothing great, but you know. So picture and sound is really not that bad. I'm going to give it fucking, for DVD standards, 7 out of 10. Special features, I got a bunch of extra features, but they kind of suck because 
there's a fake documentary on here about the band Harvey Danger. They had a song in the movie for like 45 seconds. And they do this whole fake documentary for like 15 minutes about how they really came up with the idea for Soul Survivors, but then it got ripped away. And you can tell it's a joke. It's trying to be real, but you can tell it's a joke. Who gives a shit? Who wants to fight over this credit for this bullshit movie? Nobody's garbage. With the main actors, they have a commentary, but only on select scenes. Fucking bitch was too lazy. Couldn't just watch the whole movie. I guess it was too terrible. She couldn't make it all the way through. She had only had to do... Select scene commentary. The making of Soul Survivors featurette. Man, this is just some bullshit. It tells you nothing. It doesn't tell you the truth how they re-edited it and did all this bullshit. It just, everybody's sitting on the set. You gotta see these actors. They don't even know who the characters are playing. Wes Bentley, Luke Wilson, they're like, yeah, I think my guy is the kind of guy I think. Like, they, they don't even know what their fucking characters are supposed to be. That's how bad this movie was. Trailer gallery, some animated storyboards. Who the fuck wants to watch that? Extra features, they did jam pack it, but it, like I said, it's like fast food extra features. None of this shit's worth anything. Extra features, I gotta give these motherfuckers 5 out of 10. So that's it for Soul Survivors. It's a fucking mess. Track this thing down if you can, watch it, and then immediately throw it in the fucking garbage. But if you are somehow some closet Elijah Dushku masturbating fan, you do have to fucking get this DVD so you can watch that 23 second scene over and over and over. Because even though it involved somebody you didn't know if it was a man or a woman at the time, I gotta admit, that shit was kinda hot.